I got your wig, I got your wig, ho. Miss Wiggy, I got your wig, I got your wig, ho. Ha hey, hey. ha. You're mad. I'm going to have a solo reading of a lyric. Or two. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna bathe you, play with you, rub you, caress you, tell you how much I've missed you. I just wanna touch you, tease you, you, please you, love you, hold you, make love to you. I'm gonna kiss you, 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 feel you, me. Even the same thing with the Snoop thing, right? We but had a either way, mind your that. fucking business. It's too like I'm, I'm talking to another another girl. Mind your fucking business. Mm -hmm. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Mind your business. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking to you. What exactly did T.I. say to you? Because I remember did he told you He was you like, well, oh, uh, well, the situation on said because um, uh, I am a very distinguished individual and I keep it real. She and she need to get her man before she come talk to me because, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here. Where the fuck did you learn how to read? Friedman's Bureau? Like, nigga, have you, like, did you get your GD in jail? Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. These niggas are crazy. <laughs> Yo, her evil. New York. Fuck out of here. These niggas are fucking crazy. Nah. Little Richard, it's now um, 16 years since you had your first hits. Oh, uh, yes. Do you realize that, uh, well, you must realize that at your performances, now there are people who weren't even al alive when you first began uh, recording. Yes, but I have woke them up now. Everybody that wasn't alive when I started and was gone, I have brought the spirit and put it on them. <laughs> they have resurrected. They are here now and will be out there on Saturday night to hear me at Wembley Stadium when I'm going to let it all hang out. Could I say something? Go ahead. Let it all hang out with the beautiful little Richard from down in Macon, Georgia. I am the king of rock and roll. Ow, ow, ow. My, 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 my. I just had to do that. Now I feel so much better. I got it out. Why well, are you always so shy? Huh? Why well, are you always so shy? No, I'm Legacy. not. <laughs> A lot of people say I'm shy, but... Ooh, we, I'm not. Tell me now, um, in 1956, you had a lot of hits. But before that, what were you doing? I was a dishwasher at the Greyhound bus station in my hometown, Macon, Georgia. I had been washing plates for so long, I was tired. And I wrote Tutti Frutti and Good Golly Miss Molly, and bless your soul, I got out of the kitchen. Long, tall Santa just took me on to California, and I stayed there. What sort of family background were you from, though? What, um, I was from, was your... uh, my mother had 12 kids. I have six brothers and five sisters, but I was the best-looking one of all of them. And I'm not conceited at all. What do they all do now? Uh, well, I have a brother. He's a CPA. My sisters are, two sisters are nurses. But you're the only nurse. person that's in Yes, show in show business. Yeah. I'm the only one. See, because they don't like to dress like I do. I like to put it on. I had noticed, actually. I love to put it on. I like to shine. In you fact, I think everybody's supposed to do their own thing. This is what you call doing your own thing time. Do you always dress like that? Or? Every day. I go to the grocery store like this, and people turn around. When I walked in the airport here in London today, a man dropped his cup of coffee. I notice you're wearing makeup. Do you wear makeup? Yes, I do. All I the know time? that. Yes, you're supposed to wear makeup. Just you know, just like when you to toast your bread, yeah. I put sugar in your coffee. You're supposed to add a little touch to it. Yes, I must remember that. Yes. Brandy, did you return the ring? Um, Brandy, did you return the ring? Wendy, let's move on to Roxy. <laughs> let's move on to Roxy. You're not God. the girl who keeps the ring, are you? Mmm. Brandy Norwood, are you serious? I don't have the ring. I don't have. <laughs> yeah. <no. laughs> so. <laughs> so. Um. <laughs> no. <laughs> if there is a serial killer living next door to you, though, and you know that person is, you know, killing people. Would you be a snitch if you called police and told them? If I knew the serial killer was living next door to me? Yeah. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call and tell anybody on them, but I'd probably move. Like, I'm not going to be around because I don't need to be living around serial killers, but I'm not going to call and be like, put the signs up like, yo, you know, the serial killer's in 4E. It's not your responsibility. Exactly. Is there any situation where you think it's okay to talk to the police? Yeah, definitely. 
Say hello, how you feel, everything all right, period. You just told me <laughs> I shouldn't defend myself. I didn't say that so, at all. So the next I Queen Radio, so let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna, let, no, let me tell you what I'm going to do. The next Queen Radio, I'm going to start a lie about you. I'm going to start a lie <laughs> oh, about you. Yes, yes. That's no, my favorite cool. show. It's not cool. It's not cool. It's not cool. Let me tell you something. You might laugh and say it's cool, but when it's a bunch of celebrities out here taking fucking drugs and committing suicide and killing themselves, it's not fucking cool. It's not fucking cool because you niggas think because it's not on you when the heat is not on you. Of course it's cool. If you felt the heat, it would not be fucking cool, my nigga. Nikki, Let, I agree. I wanna, it would not be cool, my nigga. Think that we have ever wanted you to harm yourself, then I want to be the first the, to apologize you, you're missing, you. the missing the point. You're missing the point. It's no, easy for you to know. It's effective. easy for you to hide up under this fucking great America yeah, get and, 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 and social media and say you wouldn't care this and you wouldn't care that. Why you, not I, saying I, that I, had, I had so many people tell me that. And as soon as they had the fucking spotlight on them, they was ready to slit their fucking wrists. So don't you ever fucking tell me what to do until you walk a fucking mile in my fucking shoes, my I'm, nigga. It's I'm not. Period. It's I hop out, I start shooting. Bow, 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 bow. Shot the nigga. Bow, shot his ass. Bow, bow. All the niggas run out the door, they run out the door. This nigga on the floor. Feel me? Walk up to this nigga, take his, take his mask off his head, looked at it, saw who it was. I'm like, damn. Shot his ass again. Bow! He screaming and shit. <gasps> you might not think that, cause, but and you're not qualified, dog. You a rated no personality, man. That is you don't fact. come from my world. You don't come from, you wouldn't understand my world. You don't come from my world. You don't know nothing about that, man. Nah, I don't. Yeah, so it's stop running I, your fucking mouth, man. I don't want it stop running your fucking mouth. You shouldn't. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. No doubt. You talking about somebody who went to war with police. It's dangerous. Attempted murders in the height of my career. It's dangerous. You don't know nothing about that, man. No. You sit up here and your job is to play games. But play with something safe, man. Don't play with me. All right, Benny Siegel, <laughs> Mac bitch, it's the Breakfast Club. <laughs> Good morning. And you have Mickey Mouse down here, and you the oh, you underwear would line. See that. I just, saw Mickey well, Mouse Minnie's right there. down there too. It's but, Mickey and Minnie. Yeah, but we won't say what they're doing. So. Oh my! <laughs> Actually, Minnie's doing something to Mickey, is what it is. Oh, you smash Angela Yeager? Oh, no. okay. Oh, of course not. <laughs> Why is it of course not? Bitch? I'm saying, come on, guys. She didn't try it. Okay. She didn't try it. Right. She didn't try it. <laughs> She's on my dick back. Oh, okay. That is a lie. Okay. That is not lying. No, we was cool. I was not on your dick. Stop you it. You used to be texting me what hotel you was at and shit like that. That is a lie. You was just like that. Never. You must got me confused oh. with somebody else. You don't remember when we did that interview a long time ago with Melissa Ford and all that? And they uh -oh. was calling Gucci me. Gucci got a good that memory. That you definitely, no, no, no. Lip service shit. Stop it. That definitely was not me. I don't know who it was, I that. put my life on that. <laughs> <laughs> there must have been somebody else in there. I would swear on my Goo life. I'm, my, I'm my unborn child. I have never hit Gucci as in the other child again. I don't know. We believe in Charlamagne. Ooh, nah. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Hello, it is the Wigiana, aka the Wig. Yes, the editor and creator of this channel. I know you don't want to hear my voice, but oh fucking well. Anyways, I know some of you have been wondering how you can support my channel. And how you can do so is just leave me a like or a comment. I would love that. And also, I know I do not have my super likes or thanks option on. Due to, I cannot get paid for my videos as YouTube does not want to cut the check as I reuse clips from other networks. So if you would like to support, you can do so on my website. That will be in the description below. Thank you, and I love you down. Bye. Oh, I'm saying that the, well, the worst shot. thing I've ever done was sign Big Sean. That's, that's a beautiful thing. Oh, that's a beautiful thing, man. No, it's a worst. Wait, 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 wait. The worst. It's, 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 it's the worst. The worst. The worst. Yeah. The worst. Yeah. The worst. <laughs> Uh, I think you said the best. Okay, hold on. Kush, was that different? <laughs>
Like, because, you know, it's a different language. It's a cultural barrier. She's probably fascinated because you're an African-American. Nah, I, yeah. I, I, I was, I, I was uh, walking through the club, <laughs> and the, the girl said, Hey, would you fuck you right now? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. And I just kept kept it moving, but I just thought that was hilarious. I mean, cause you know they know what they want. They know what they oh want. shoot! And I respect that. Yeah. <laughs> See. <coughs> and who are you to stand in the way of their dreams? Who am I? <laughs> you know. Who am I? I'm not gonna block that blessing for you. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. Damn. But Germany so, was cool. Germany was cool, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eddie, thank you so much, my sweet baby, for having us. Why you keep thinking them? Not me. You know what, brother? You're going to hear yourself a lot from me lately. You're going to hear yourself around the world because we have to explain brothers like you. We do. And when we watched that movie, Birth of a Nation, and we saw that man walk his wife into that master's house, we watched him walk his wife in. Then we watched him go back and get him. You're that brother. I thank y'all for your time, you. my babies. I know what I be. A well. Why? I love wells. I love Wales since I was a little girl. She wants to touch one one day. I think I will be a bird. What? Because they can fly. <laughs> Not only can they fly, but they can travel all over the world. You know what I'm saying? I would like to be a black panther. Ooh. <laughs> Why is that, Michelle? Cause she's sexy. So and I can. Creep she's a black cat through the wilderness, and I like when they walk. Their backs go like that. Yeah. And when they step, they step better than I do. They step graceful. with the stride and Lions graceful. Are cool too. So when I walk out of here, I'm gonna step like a black panther. <laughs> Next one, All right, me. what about when you posted a sonogram and announced you was going to be a father? I got finessed. Bitch finessed me, You thought me, you were going to be a father. I thought I was going to be a father. Bitch sent me a fake baby picture try to get some, some money out of me for abortion. It wasn't. It was fake. Thank God I posted that because the internet told me it was fake. Thank y'all. I, I appreciate y'all. I posted that. I was like, nigga, this is fake. So you were I'm, excited. You yeah. You were going to I caught a bitch. I'm like, bitch, the internet said this shit. Oh. But wait, hold on. Now back up. How did you think you were going to be a dad oh, when man. she was asking for money for an abortion? I fucked the bitch. No, but I'm saying <laughs> she wasn't gonna have the baby. Yeah, you can't. No, you don't understand how she's. You're a not, listening, <laughs> yeah, you're not, listening. <laughs> you're not listening, Yee. You're not listening. You're not listening. You're not listening, Yee. Fuck the bitch. If she's saying she's having an abortion, you're not gonna be a dad. <laughs> Yo, what are you talking about? All right, so listen, check it out, Ange. <laughs> look, look, Ada, we gonna slow Explain down. Explain her how this birth of work. I, I, I fucked the girl. <laughs> right. I, th I thought up. she was pregnant. Right. She sent me a picture of a baby like she was pregnant. Mm -hmm. Sonogram. A sonogram, again, right. and she said, "Give me this amount of money so I can get an abortion. I'm pregnant." Mm -hmm. I posted it on the internet, and the internet said it was fake. Right. So I called a bitch. I said, "Bitch, this fake. I ain't giving you no money for abortion. You're not pregnant. You try to finesse me. <laughs> you get it now? No, I get it. Raw? But what I'm saying is, you said you posted it. You thought you was gonna be a dad. I did. Not if she's having an abortion. She wasn't gonna get the abortion Yo, unless Sasha gave her the money. Okay. But why are you not listening to the It's more to have a baby than to have an abortion. But why are you hitting these girls raw? I'm young Draco, man. Fuck that shit. Oh man. my God. I want to feel that shit, man. I'm trying to go. Bye bye. I'm trying to. You still hitting raw now? Man, sometimes. Right. I'm going to be honest. Which Me and my homies, like, I, I think this was even trending on I TikTok. I can't wait. Yo, he said, did you, I don't know if you ever watched the interview with it. He said he started a car battery with his hands. I said, if I seen her eyes light up, I'm like, Jesus Christ, she, he could do no wrong. Hey, she believes everything. Listen. You did not please start no car battery with your bare hands. Me. If I didn't, may God murder my children. I don't even, I hate that I even spoke about that. If I didn't, may God murder my children. No, don't say that. Please, yeah. kill them today. Right now, today. And, and to be honest with you, I just put my hands over the battery and prayed, Lord, please let this woman battery start. On a physics level, that's impossible. On a physics level, human beings emit electricity. Our bodies are electric. Not enough to start. You ever touched somebody and shocked them? Yes, I've got okay. a static shock. So what, shock. You, what you was doing? You was emitting yes electricity. But that listen, I t is that an interview that I actually gave with Katie Curry? Yeah. What's your name again? Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, that, that's not the question. What's like, his what? name? Pete Ross. Huh? Pete Ross. Pete Ross. Yeah. Just, that's a stupid ass question. You just saw me on there giving an interview with her. Okay. So that was you. 
Did you perform at the Virgin Mobile Music Fest in 2008 with Kanye West? I don't know, but I know I did perform at this badass bitch birthday party recently. She was crazy, stupid thick. Isn't it something that you would remember if your album, The Carter Three, was the biggest selling album of the year in 2008? Isn't it something that I would remember that? Yes. Isn't that a personal opinion type question? Because no, that's why I got that. I mean, because I would be actually answering the question to isn't it something? That's my question. Isn't it something? That you would remember. Isn't it something? That's the question I have to answer, Your Honor. Go ahead. Isn't it something? Do, you, do, you do the best trying to answer it. <laughs> yeah, it's something out of your ass. That's my answer. It, it, yeah, it is something out okay. of your ass. Have you ever hired a photographer to photograph an event? Have I ever hired a photographer to photograph an event? Sorry, sir, no, I'm a superstar. People hire them themselves to photograph me. We don't hire them. Do you recall that any criminal acts, actions were pending against you at the end of 2008? I don't recall any. Do you recall being at all concerned about any criminal actions that may have been pending against you at the end of 2008? I don't recall. Do you recall that in the summer of 2007 you were arrested in New York City following a performance at the Beacon Theater? We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Hello, it is me, the Wigiana, interrupting again. I know you are sitting there oh so sour and so mad, but here I am. Anyways, I know some of you are wondering how you can support my channel, and you can do so in the description below, as YouTube does not cut the check for me. Okay, back to the video. There's invisible walls. Don't think I ain't been many a times singing like five heartbeats in pairs. Mm -hmm. I've been up there singing. Mm. Y'all want to diss one of my outfits? Mm. Y'all want to say that? Mm. Y'all want to like try to diss one of my girlfriend's outfits? Blah, blah. Mm. We just singing. Y'all singing group, ain't y'all? We came out there, they was talking like, y'all singing group, ain't y'all? Sing something then. And what we sing? We sang Pyrex. We sang Ben Trill. We sang Snapbacks. We sang Yeezus. But we want to sing Nike. We want that clean water. I tasted it. I see what it's like. We want to sing Louis Vuitton. We want to sing on a Gucci level. We want to sing as high as we could sing when we had pyramids. We don't want to just have a little print on the back of our jacket that costs $2,000, making us feel like a king again for a day. We don't want to just have the jewelry just trying to make us feel good. We want to be good. That's creation. That's that thing that people slave over. That's that thing that people are slaves to. That's that thing I'm a slave to. That's passion. That's that thing where you can hold it. That's that dreaming about a new pair of Jordans. Mm -hmm. That's, a, that's the process of opening up a Nike box. That thing that Steve gave us when you open up your new iPhone and you got the iPhone 5, whether you stood in line for it or whatever you did and stuff, and you open it up and you got this new product. That's that Transformers in the box that you open up for Christmas or that new TurboGrafx-16 or Sega Genesis or Amiga computer or 3DO or Nintendo. Or it's like when you just open that packaging, the process of the packaging. That's that porno mag, that that drug, that that, that that, that, that drug addict bought for you when you was 14 that was in that package and you figured out how to pay that drug dealer before there was the internet to buy you and you open up that and you know you're going to make five of them girls your girlfriend all weekend. That's why I'm on that runway. <laughs> Until I'm at the end of it. I got a hoodie on. Can we see his face? Uh, is lighting okay with that? We, are we okay with that? Okay. Have you thought about taking the hoodie down because you've got, you know, just as an entertainer, and I'm in the entertainment industry, you've got such a cute face. Why hide it oh, underneath thanks. the hoodie? Um, That's your I, little money maker. Yeah, why hide? Hey, well, why? Nah, now you should probably put the hoodie back. Yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah, my mistake. Is you that, know your business. You know good? business better than I do. 
Uh, now, he proposed to you in Venice. That must have been nice, although I've heard it smells of eggs. Did that not ruin the romance at all? <laughs> That's what they say because of the sulfur in the river. Actually, Venice is really pretty. It didn't smell? No. The only thing I thought might be nice about the eggs thing is if then, whenever you cooked eggs in the future, it'd remind you of when you got proposed to. Come out of them dark rooms with all that depression. Stop yourself. You go get some help. But you can start by journaling. What do I want? Mm -hmm. Who am I? And if you don't know, make some shit up. <laughs> <laughs> when did you first start going to therapy? Well, I was 33 years old. Okay. I spent half my life depressed. Mm. and manic as hell. Did you know it was depression? Absolutely not. It was normal. That's right. I cried every night of my life. Well, there were some nights I had sex and that was all right. <laughs> I didn't cry that night. I was like, Merry Christmas. Hey, you ever cried like, over some yeah. bad sex? Like, ugh. Bad sex? Like, I wish the fuck he would. Not as I was... <laughs> <laughs> No, I was in my 20s then. You get it up or get stabbed. I wish a bitch would. Get up or I get wish stabbed. a bitch would bring a limp dick in my house when we were that young. What, nigga? Please. Fuck out of here. Oh my God, I shouldn't do this. Y'all, they, they, they play the hell out of my house. I got your wig. I got your wig, ho. Ah, uh -huh. you're mad. Ew. Like JK, but like maybe not. But thank you for watching. But you hating ass bitches always have something to say. Hating ass bitch, but you're still watching my vids. What? 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 <laughs> you're so upset. But that's like okay because have a piece of bread, have a Xanax, relax because I said what I said.